Well, Kelly just dragging the spotlight off Nat Young with his performance so far. 17.5 is heat score total. And uh, that is, I believe, the third highest of the contest so far. And there is still just over seven and a half minutes remaining. Nat Young isn't performing too badly at this stage, but needs to get a couple of excellent numbers. He's currently comboed. Let's have a look at the highlights so far. Round three is starting a lot up. Uh, Ronnie, I just like how Kelly can, uh, he, it almost dictates the rhythm. So, you know, at, at the beginning of this, he, he was out of rhythm, wasn't he? You know, Nat was the one that was holding down priority. Nat got the, you know, the first decent score. Uh, you know, it was only a four, but it seemed like, wow, this could really unfold his way. And Kelly somehow snuck that 7.67 under priority and just kind of switched it on, on Nat Young, flipped it right on his head. And that put him in rhythm for this wave right here, which was, you know, the best wave of the contest so far. Almost a couple of judges gave him tens, Ronnie. Um, so, you know, sure, it was a dream wave, but technically what he did on that without grabbing rail and getting that just one extra pump, that drive to give him that momentum to make it over the foam ball, that was next level from Kelly. Making some comparisons to, to the first round and John Florence's performance there. I think the, the reason that Kelly's wave was easy to stamp as the best wave of the event was just that foam ball that he had to deal with at the end and the amount of water that came from inside that barrel when the wave spat. Yeah, it was drama inside there, uh, but he just kind of flew out of that thing as if he, you know, he knew that he was going to make it out, but I'm pretty sure he got as deep as you could get. So um, I love the fact that a couple of judges threw him a 10. Uh, you know, that was easily the best ride we've seen in this event. 